Well, hi, how's it going? Welcome to another video from your boy. Uh, just here out at the local park, I'm getting my framing on point and uh, just burning through some uh, burning through some rubber. And by rubber, I mean lithium. And by lithium, I only mean lithium polymer. Just freaking getting after it and, uh, you know, just changing things up a little bit because why the hell not? So, yeah, what up? Uh, I got my got my freestyle quad. And I got some races. I'm just gonna uh, just gonna have a bit of fun, go for some uh, rippage, and see how we go. Cause I mean, bloody heck, it's a good day. It's freaking awesome. I think it's now spring, so it's nice bit of wind. But hey, not complaining. So if any uh, any uh, 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 just uh, I'm a, uh, uh. A couple of days ago, I went to Katoomba, which is up in the Blue Mountains, with my mate. And I was flying my quad, and it was sick. We went to Wentworth Falls, which if you haven't been there, I don't blame you. It's in the middle of nowhere. I was so amped for flying there. I was, oh, I was that stoked. And I charged all the GoPro batteries, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna hit up that many cool spots. And uh, it turns out I didn't charge any of the GoPro batteries, because my GoPro Hero 7, pooped its pants and no longer charges batteries and it's like dead. So I hit up GoPro and I was like, hey GoPro, and they're like, for sure man, and they sent me a new GoPro Hero 7. Well, they're sending me one. Which means today I've got to run, I've got to run my session like a, like a loser. No, I, I will say the session is great, so it's okay. But the lens is full on dinged up big time. It's got, uh, it's got quite a few uh, smudges and scratches all over it, so the footage isn't going to be great, but I just needed some, some type of HD recording device, and I got it in the form of a session, baby. And I've got both race quads set up and ready to rock, so I'm going to test out some launch mode action with them. I've made myself this little contraption, which is uh, three bits of 2x4 and some grippy grip on it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna perch on it. I'm gonna freaking angle all the angle, and then just blah, send it forward. So I've got a nice open field here to practice that, and I'm very excited. I'm also gonna film a few trick tutorials because um, I feel like they should be filmed, and I'll just get get them out of the way. So yeah, bloody oath. Um, I don't know. Enjoy, enjoy some ND, and enjoy, enjoy some rippage. I'm a professional YouTuber! No, I'm not, but I did those, uh, the, the trick videos. I, I just filmed them then. Uh, they were very successful, apart from the fact that I, I, I stuffed up the shutter speed thing on the GoPro and then didn't record and, and then failed a lot of things. But they're filmed, expect them soon, and there's another man on a bicycle. Come into the shot. Um, expect those soon. They should be coming in hot, but for now, now it's time for fun, and I've got out my, my stand. So now it's time to get the, uh, the old race quads. Oh my god. And let's practice that launch mode. You want to see this? This is freaking sick. If you haven't seen this before, this is mad. While I'm just, uh, putting the battery on, have you guys seen the price of fuel? I was driving a uni today, it was a dollar sixty-nine, and I just thought to myself, is this some kind of sick joke? Because if it is, it's freaking hilarious. You can, you can just tell. There's the, the bloke who works at Caltech, and he's sitting down there, out in the back office, where they find the prices for fuel and stuff. And you can just see him. He's going to go, what price should I make it today, Jeff? And then Jeff... <clears throat> Jeff's over here. And Jeff's like... Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think you should make it... Uh, <laughs> what if you made it? A dollar sixty-nine. <laughs> Huh. And then the other bloke, he's back here, and the other bloke's like... <laughs> and um, there you go, that's how fuel prices are made. So I've just armed it, I pitch forward. Oh my god. If I let go, it stays there. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> how sick is that? And then you can fly it normally. 
is freaking mad. Oh, hell yeah. How fast this thing is. Woo! Woo! Whoa, look at that thing. Oh my god, I was literally just flying the freestyle quad just out of this thing. Freaking balls. Oh, that is so much fun. See the trees? Whoa. God dang. Oh, it's ended. Oh man. Oh, how good is that? This is great fun. Go race quad. One thing that I'm rocking now on the uh, on the old race setup, in comparison to before, in that video I made where I'm like race setup. I got those S5s. They're bloody good. I'll, I'll give I'll give you that. They're responsive as all hell. And let me show ya. Let me show you why. Watch this, freaking. Oh man, straight off the bat, smooth, solid. Okay. Is this battery fully charged or am I just falling? Probably a bit of both. Now, might I say, these props are juicy. Let me know if you want a review on them. I don't want to do too many reviews because, hey, that's for the old, the other JB. That's for Joshua Bardwell. Um, yeah. So these props, I love them. I originally bought them because I did some math. I got out the calculator on my phone and went, hey, let me see if I can crunch some numbers. And you know what? Crunching numbers I did. These blokes are the, what can you say? The bigger pitch in comparison to the uh, S4s which I tried, and there is a review on it on my channel. Link is in the uh, link, I oh, don't know, there's no link. Just go check it out if you want. Uh, oh, look at that sun. Actually, before I say anything else, watch this. Oh, you're kidding, that looks good on DVR as well. Shout out Foxy for the Predator. Um, yeah, S5s. They are, they are a five by four by three pitch, which is a little bit more than the S4. Now my theory, before buying them was, hey, what up? S4s felt like a high pitch, but weren't, and gave the efficiency of a lower pitch prop. And because of that, I decided that the five by four by three uh, S5s would be sufficient for my racing setup, because the S4s responded like maybe a four point Five pitch. Uh, oh no, because the S fours responded like a maybe a four pitch, or a little bit higher than that, maybe a four point two. So these guys coming in at a pitch of four should theoretically mean that they feel and respond a little bit more like a what could you say a four point five maybe or a four point six. Man, freaking ripping balls. And because they because they feel like a 4.6, that's bang on with what I used to run. So in theory, I should get the punch that I used to have, but more responsiveness because they're like a different blend of plastic. What am I trying to say about them? Good is what I'm trying to get at. They are good, they are responsive, they are light, and you can feel it when you're racing and when you're flying around tight bends especially. 5146s, I would get like two minutes 30 flight time if I was like properly sending it, um, versus these, the S5s. S5s, I'm now getting like 330 or however long that flight was, but that was, that was all right. But yeah, upwards of three minutes. Uh, giving it a giving it a bit of smack too. So especially for nationals when I've got to get like long ass laps in and stuff. It's I reckon it'll be pretty important having a more efficient setup and going to these props is a good start. So hit your boy up in the comments if you want a review on these um, with some more specs and, and stuff and whatnot. Like a classic 
JB Photography Review. So uh, let us know, my dog, let us know. The sun, ladies and gentlemen, is going down over there. It's going down. So let's get a couple more freestyle rips in while it's looking nice up on the trees. And, uh, and yeah, let's conclude, conclude this day. Freaking, oh, success. You're not alive, boy, so you start kicking When the room is spinning and the words aren't sticking And the radio's on a better runaway model With a face like sin and a hat like a James Joyce novel Saying sis, no sis, for how I missed you, missed you Let's go wrist to wrist and take the skin off of a blister If you're a rock star, porn star, superstar, doesn't matter what you are, get yourself a good car, get out of here. Well, put the boys in the better land. You're always talking about the boys in the better land. The boys in the better land. Put the boys in the better land. You're always talking about the boys in the better land. The boys in the better land Drivers got names to fill two double barrels Spits out, bricks out, only smokes carols And he's refreshing the world in mind, body and spirit Mind, body and spirit, you better hear it, I fear it Oh, that's the spirit Saying sister, sister, how I missed you, missed you Let's go wrist to wrist and take the skin off of a vista If you're a rock star, porn star, superstar Doesn't matter what you are, get yourself a good car, get out of here Yeah Put the boys in the better land You're always talking about the boys in the better land the boys in the better land But the boys in the better land You're always talking about the boys in the better land The boys in the better land Names to fill two double barrels. He spits out, breaks out, only smokes carols. And he's refreshing the world in mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and spirit. You better hear it and fear it. Ah, oh, that's the spirit. Saying sister, sister, how I missed you, missed you. Let's go wrist to wrist and take the skin off of a blister. If you're a rock star, porn star, superstar, doesn't matter what you are, get yourself a good car, get out of here. Yeah. Put the boys in the better land. You're always talking about the boys in the better land. The boys in the better land. Put the boys in the better land. You're always talking about those boys in the better land. The boys in the better line. Catch me, baby. So there you go. That was just that was just a rip. I don't even know what this video was like trying to do. Oh, there's bindies everywhere. Oh, my bum. Oh, that was fun. Good day. Got a lot done. Went to uni. Learnt nothing. Came here. Taught you guys something. You then learnt nothing. A lot of learning nothing today. And at the end of the day, we're all getting like shafted by the blokes who make fuel prices, so that's cool. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, uh, yeah, cool. Enjoy the, uh, enjoy the trick tutorials that have come as a result of the flying today. Hope they do something, but yeah. If they don't, cool. If not, cool. It's cool. It's all cool. 
Uh, have a nice day. Uh, eat vegan. I mean, if you want. Bye.